Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the specimen paper of the Cambridge 9709 Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level exam. And this question here is about a curve which has equation y equals f of x, and we're told that f dash of x, which is the first derivative of f of x, is given by this formula 1 over the square root of x plus 6 plus 6 over x squared. And we're also told that if you substitute 3 into the original equation f of x, 1 is the output. Okay, so these are the two bits of information we're given, and we got to find from this the equation of f of x. Now, if we want to find what f of x is, and we know the differential of f of x, we have to do the opposite of differentiation, which is integration. So I have to find the integral of f dash of x with respect to x, and that's what's going to give me what f of x is equal to. f of x is the integral of f dash of x with respect to x. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to integrate this. So before I do that, I'm going to rewrite this in a form that's easy for me to integrate. So I'm going to have to write this in index form and all the x terms in the numerator. Now what we should understand um, one of the things we should understand is that the square root of a um, expression is the same as that expression raised to the power of a half. Okay, and the other thing we need to realize is that if we have 1 over something to the power of a number, you can rewrite that as that same base to the negative same power. So 1 over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of negative n. You can write this, this means the reciprocal, basically. The minus means write this thing as it's reciprocal. All right, so knowing those pieces of information, I can rewrite this as x plus 6 to the power of a half in the denominator, and therefore x plus 6 to the power of negative a half. And that is, we haven't started to integrate, that's just getting this ready, prepared for us to be able to integrate easily writing in an index form with all the x terms in the numerator. And this will therefore be, from this rule, 6x to the power of negative 2. Okay, so now we can integrate this, and this will give us what f of x is, or part of the way. So I'm going to now integrate x plus 6 to the power of negative a half plus 6x to the power of minus 2 with respect to x. Now, when you're integrating a... Um, collection of terms like this, you can integrate each of them separately. I can integrate this one separately, and I can integrate this one separately, and, you know, just have the answer as the integral of this plus the integral of that. Okay, that's one thing that you should understand, that the integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is the same as integrating them separately, and just adding those two separate integrals together. That's an important little point, okay? So I can integrate this separately and that separately. I don't have to write it out like this. I can just integrate it. Now, when you integrate something, it's the opposite, the inverse of differentiation. So when you integrate something, the first thing you do is you add 1 to the power. So we're going to add 1 to the power here. So this will give us x plus 6 to the power of positive a half. Minus a half plus 1 is a half. And then you divide by the new power. And if there is um, the differential of something in here, you've got to divide by that. Here, we don't have to worry about this. Okay, that's fine. That's something that comes in the reverse of the chain rule. In this case, we don't have to worry about that because the differential of what's inside the function is just 1. Okay. And here, we've got to add 1 to the power. So it's going to be 6x to the power of minus 1 divided by the new power, which is minus 1. But don't forget, this is an indefinite integral. So we got to write, in the end, plus c. We got to write plus c to stand for the constant that could have been there when it was integral differentiated to give us this. So you must write the plus c, and finding f of x is not complete without finding the value of that c. So we have to keep that written down, and we got to find what it is using the other piece of information they gave us. Okay, so now, if I now write this a bit simplified, when you divide something by... A fraction, you multiply it by its reciprocal. So if I divide by a half, I'm multiplying by 2. So this is going to be 2 times x plus 6 to the power of a half minus 6. And you can write this as x 
um, divided by half. Uh, sorry, you can write the six divided by x because six x to the power of minus one. Now, one thing that some people make a mistake here is they'll write one over six x. That's not correct because it's only the x that is raised to the minus one power. The six is not raised to that power. Okay, so the plus and the minus here cancelled out or became a negative, and the x to the power of minus one became six over x. The six is not raised to the power of minus one, only the x is. And then don't forget the plus c, and the answer is not complete without finding what c is, and that's the reason they gave us this information, okay, which was f3 equals 1. So now we're going to use this. Basically, they're saying that, you know, when you put x as 3, f of x becomes 1. So I'm going to write 1 equals 2 times, and um, instead of x, I'm going to put 3. So that's 3 plus 6 to the power of a half minus 6 over 3 plus c. So this will help us find what c is. So 1 equals, this is 2 times, this is 9 to the power of a half, which is the square root of 9, minus 6 over 3, which is 2, plus c. So 1 equals 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 2 plus c. So 1 equals 4 plus c. Therefore, c is equal to 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. Okay, now, uh, one, of the one of the things that some people um, have a confusion of this means the positive square root of whatever's in here. It's not written as plus or minus. It means the, the um, positive square root of whatever's in here. Okay, so you only write, you know, 2 times 3. So this is only going to be 3, not negative 3. All right. When you have something like it says find the square root of, of 16, for example, the answer is 4. If it said find the positive or negative square root of 16, then you write plus or minus 4. Okay. If it just if it doesn't work, if nothing's written, you only have to find the positive square root of 16. That's what that means. Okay, we'll, we can discuss that in some other questions later on when we're dealing with some other questions which we'll um, have to face that. So now we can now write the, the complete answer. f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 6 to the power of a half minus 6 over x minus 3. And that's our complete answer. For this question okay so we used integration and this further piece of information they gave us in order to solve this problem okay so there's the answer to that question um, other questions which are related to this topic of integration can be found in the playlist that will be in this section over here other questions from this particular specimen paper of the 9709 syllabus or P1, Pure Mathematics 1, can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and you can watch the video here, which tells you how to navigate my channel to find the things that you might be interested in. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.